You ready? Ready? Ready. Okay. Um, at some level, there is some level of confusion with regard to what is exactly going on with the uh, certification versus request of funds. And want to have a quick press availability just to make sure that everybody knew exactly where things stood. Um, and where they stand are as follows. Um, uh, as of some hour today, I'm not exactly certain the hour, but by the end of close of business today, we will have certified all of the, the funds. Uh, and what that does is it preserves options. Uh, such that really between now and September of 2010, uh, uh, our administration would have the option of, of uh, asking for and not asking for uh, that $700 million that's comprised there in the uh, uh, economic and educational stabilization fund. Um, that is simply the preservation of option and is in essence clerical in nature to make sure that the money doesn't go off to New York or to California or the state. What is absolutely constant in this whole equation and conversation is that we are not going to request that $700 million of money unless Senate budget writers, House budget writers, and this administration come together on a plan to pay down debt. Because we think that it is incredibly important to pay first for the political promises that are on the table before you go out and make a bunch of new uh, and additional political promises. And at the core, that's what we're dealing with. I mean, it needs to be remembered the overall numbers. Last year, overall in South Carolina, we spent about $19 billion. This coming year, we're projected to go to about $21 billion. And so given, again, the chaos budget, given a lot of other things that are out there, I just wanted to make sure that everybody was crystal clear on where things stand, which is dollars we certify, but we stand exactly where we stood yesterday, the day before that, the day before that, and the weeks before that, in saying we will not request those funds unless we go to do that common sense notion of not just spending every dollar that comes in, but taking some money and setting aside for a rainy day because at the end of the day, we believe not only our financial health will be improved, but employment options and other things will be improved by walking through this financial storm that we're in in a stronger financial position. I think it's interesting that Gordon Sullivan, who was former chief of staff of the United States Army, once said that hope was not a method. And what a lot of people hope for, we all hope for, this economic storm that this country is enduring, that it will indeed be over in 24 months. But if it is not, we need to make plans so that our uh, ship of state here in South Carolina sails strongly in the 36 months and 48 months and the months on beyond. At the end of the day, that's what this is about. Because when you rank fourth in the United States of America in what we allocate to, to debt repayment, those are dollars, those interest payments are dollars that don't go to teachers, they don't go to healthcare, they don't go to a whole host of important governmental services. So we're where we are and I just want to make clear as to where the administration was, as to where things stand, 